Hello, and welcome to Tip of the Week by CAD Tech Seminars. You can find us on the web at thebimguys.com. We do Revit, Naviswork, and AutoCAD training, BIM coordination, and modeling. If you have any questions, check us out at thebimguys.com. Uh, this week we're going to touch on a question that was brought up by a client. The question was, I've got this great door, but I want the arch of the door to be followed or the wall to actually follow that arch. So I've got a great door, has an arch, and I want the opening to arch all also. So how do we make that happen? There's a few different ways to go about it. You could probably try to edit the profile of the door, but I mean the profile of the wall, but what's going to happen is the door opening is going to beat the profile. Okay. So the real answer is you're going to go in and edit the door itself. So I'm going to grab the door and I'm going to go up top and hit edit family. Now, if you've never edited a family before, don't panic. There's a lot of depth to it, but knowing a few tricks sometimes it will work out uh, just fine to get you through what you need to get through. Now, tip number one, when you open up a family, most of the time you're in a three-dimensional view or just a pretty picture. If I come over here and I spin this thing around, notice how it's just a pretty picture. So you don't see any of the mathematics that are driving this family. Now if I go to my exterior view, I want you to notice you see a lot more information here. Those green lines are reference planes and those are what drive the actual assembly or drive the family. Those are, you want to think of it as bones or the structure of the family. Um, the next thing you're going to see is the solids and that's the door panels and all that. And then you'll also see this, this is the wall, this is a placeholder. Now within here what you don't see is the actual opening that is cut in the wall. So within this family there is a void. Now it's kind of hard to see so I'm going to hover over the edge of the wall here. And I'm going to hit tab once. You see it's picking up the door panel now. It actually says door facing. I hit tab again and see I'm getting this weird thing. Well it's just a little rectangle. See it says opening cut. This is the cut that actually cuts through the, uh, the wall. So if I grab that and I hit edit sketch you'll see a purple line pop up or a pink line. This is the same concept if you've done a floor slab or a roof that you have this purple line that you edit and then the solid a wall, roof, whatever it is will follow. Now in this instance it's a void. So what we're going to do is we're just going to remove that top line, just delete it out, and we're going to go in here and put a new arc in. Now one of the things you'll notice is we've got this arched window. Now I could quickly just use that as a marker by using this offset. I'm going to say create a line by pick and offset it four inches. Now if I hover over that edge, you'll see I want to put that marker up there. Okay, just like so. If I come over here, just like so. Now if I pick, there it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the trim the corner, or some people call it fill it, and I'll go ahead and clean this thing up. Now what you're going to notice is, notice how the arch is a little off. You can see by the, uh, the pixelization of it right there, and you'll notice that the center, uh, center line is actually off here too. So we may need to move this line over a bit. So I'm going to grab it, hit the move command, and I'm going to pick maybe a base point of right here and come over with it just a little bit and try to center that arc. Um, you can see down here again it's a little off. So let's go ahead and see if we can set that to zero. All right. And let's see if our arc looks good. Yeah. Okay. So you can kind of see it's pixelating right at the center there. So when they're making the door, maybe that arc's a little off, but for the most part, we're not going to worry about that. So that that's looking good. Now when I hit finish, just like if you're doing a floor or a roof, go ahead and hit finish, you'll notice how Revit recreates the opening and now notice it's following with an arch. So now we didn't tie it into a lot of reference planes. We could have went and put a whole bunch of reference planes in here and tied it all together and made it all beautiful. But really a lot of times this is a one-off. Now maybe we'll use it again. So what we want to do is come up top, file, save as, a family. We're doing two things here. We don't want to corrupt the original family. Um, and we want to maybe save this thing for future use. So I'm going to say arch. So we just go ahead and click on that, give it a name, hit save, and replace it, yes. Okay. Now we've got the arch door, and now we can go ahead and load it in. Um, let's go ahead, load into the project, and close. And what will happen is you'll get some door show up, right? So there it is. I'm just going to hit escape. Now the original doors are still here. Remember they had the lo uh, longer name and they weren't called Arch. I'm going to grab both of these now and I'm going to drop this down. You'll see the original door is here. That was brought in, downloaded, and then here is our edited version of it. 
Now, the nice thing about having a family that someone's already created, I didn't have to go through the whole creation of that door. And notice how nice that result is now. So it took us only a few moments to go ahead and adjust a family to make it accommodate what we need. Now, if you wanted to go tweak it a little bit, you could always go back into that family, edit family, and then adjust the arc, raise it, lower it, do what you need to do to make it uh, fit your needs. But there you go. That is how to uh, simply take an existing family and change the opening to accommodate your needs. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, check us out on the web at thebimguys.com.